The first pictures from the European Space Agency's Philae lander on the surface of Comet 67P are in. It was both very exciting when we know when we knew that the first images were to come from the lander because it demonstrated first that we were alive, which is not trivial. Arriving on the surface of a moving comet was a decade-long, four billion mile chase. Once the mothership Rosetta was on target, the lander probe known as Philae was released to descend to the comet's surface. The lander hit the bullseye of the programmed landing site, but harpoons designed to lock into the comet's surface apparently failed, and Philae bounced into a secondary landing zone. We also see um, stuff shining through a dust layer where the dust is wiped away or following the gravity field and exposing a higher strength material. And this is something that we could consider be the reason for the, for the rebound. Solar power is also an issue for the long-term success of the mission. The onboard battery power can last only 64 hours. Philae rests in an area that only receives one and a half hours of sunlight every 12 hours. But the spacecraft needs six to seven hours of sunlight to recharge the batteries. There is such a low gravity that each time you manipulate something, you have a reaction. And if we are clever enough, this reaction can optimize, in particular, the amount of sun we have on the solar panels. If the backup plan works, the Philae team expects to start the next round of measurements early this evening and hopes to collect samples from the surface and to drill into the comet sometime on Friday before the batteries go dead. Tom Ritchie, Associated Press.